Hi, this is Doug from Shelley USA, and this video is covering contactors. If you're interested in automating 240 volt appliances, a contactor is really your best friend. It lets you do some absolutely amazing things. A contactor is a lot like a relay or switch, but it can handle much higher amperage loads as well as multi-phase circuits. The three key points you want to specify when you're shopping for your contactor are form factor. You want to make sure that it's going to work in the enclosure you're using, whether that's a foot mount or a DIN rail. The coil voltage, you want to make sure that the Shelly relay can be powered by and switch the same voltage that controls the contactor. You also care about the amperage rating. You want to make sure that the contactor is heavy enough to control the appliance or device that you're wiring to it. Now if you look at the labels on the contactor examples we have here, you'll notice that there are a couple of different ways to designate the terminals. The air conditioner contactor on the left has L1 and L2 for the incoming line from the breaker panel. Then you see T1 and T2, those are the load going out to the device you're controlling. You have a black wire coming in that's connected to terminal A1 and is triggered by the Shelly relays out. The A2 terminal is connected to a neutral wire. Now the DIN rail contactor on the right also has A1 and A2 as you might expect, but you notice the incoming line from the breaker panel, those are labeled 1 and 3. The outgoing are labeled 2 and 4 to the device. Really that's all you need to know about contactors, but I do have one fun fact. You don't have to use all of the poles on a contactor. You notice a couple of three-pole contactors we have here. A two-pole contactor, you can use one pole or both. A three, you can use one, two, or three. So you could do a two-phase with a second, say a, a 20 amp, 120 volt circuit on the third pole set. You could do a three phase obviously, or you could do two phase by itself or three mono phase, whatever combination you need. Just remember you're only gonna have one relay triggering this type of contactor. Hope that was helpful, thanks.